What is going on everybody? I'm here to talk to you about Marvel's Luke Cage, a show I massively enjoyed and that's been on my mind a lot recently. Now don't worry, there'll be no spoilers and all the footage I'm using comes straight from the release trailers of the show. So without further ado, let's get to it. Luke Cage is Marvel's latest addition to their cinematic universe, and it comes in the form of a 13-episode Netflix TV series. Like most Marvel TV properties, Luke Cage is a comic book adaptation. Unlike most Marvel comic book properties, however, Luke Cage was created to ride the American black exploitation subgenre. What's black exploitation, you ask? Imagine films made to cater to an African American audience. Now imagine those films being made by predominantly white directors in the 70s. Which is why, when I started watching this show, my expectations amounted to little more than a black superhero and a story adapted to be a little bit safer for the 21st century. What I ended up getting was so much more. After all, I follow every Marvel TV show since Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and this is the only one I've ever made a video about, in the busiest time of my life no less. Clearly this show made an impression on me, and right here and now, I'm gonna tell you all why. This show sold my heart for three reasons. The first being the cast. Alright yo, scroll with me for a second. Not since the likes of Fresh Prince, Boondocks, and Empire have I seen a mainstream show like this. This cast is blacker than the blackest night. I'm talking dark as a midnight hour. Like black as brown, hazelnut, cinnamon, black tea. And you know what? Given the source material, this shouldn't have been half as surprising to me and the rest of the internet as it ended up being. And that right there is a problem. It shouldn't be surprising. After all, the main setting for Luke Cage is Harlem, a community with deep historical ties to African Americans. Intentional or not, the predominantly black and Latino cast sends a strong message just by existing. And the best part? It does so without coming off as obnoxious, or holier than thou, or in your face about it. The cast has to exist in the form that it does for the story being told to be told. It all feels natural. Whether you question the ethnicity of the cast or commend it does not matter because the simple act of doing either eventually forces you to look at the overall picture by asking yourself, why am I so happy about this? Or why am I so annoyed about this? It isn't telling you what to think. It's encouraging you to explore why you think what you think about casting in mainstream media and is doing so by virtue of existing. Though I'm ethnically Ugandan, I've spent my whole life growing up in the Western world. Like many other Africans in the West, I accepted at an early age that seeing black folks in mainstream media was the exception to the rule. There was no sadness or drama associated with this revelation. It simply just was. That being said, any morsels that came my way, I would hold on to for dear life. There was however yet another, more complex problem. Even as a kid, though I couldn't quite explain it, I could still identify it as a problem. This was a discovery that there were two kinds of black characters. We have black characters, and we have characters that happen to be black. Black characters have aspects of their backstory or personalities that acknowledge that their African heritage has affected and or continues to affect their life. The story being told about them accepts that being black in today's society comes with an entirely different set of values and prejudices. Hey, my lock is open! If you want black history, go back to Africa. What? On both sides of the fence. You think I'm a sellout, why? Because I live in a big house or I dress a certain way? Or maybe it's because I like Barry Manilow. Uh, you, you been Barry White, y'all. <laughs> Being black isn't what I'm trying to be, it's what I am. I'm running the same race and jumping the same hurdles you are, so why are you tripping me up? You said we need to stick together, but you don't even know what that means. If you ask me, you're the real sellout. 
Characters that happen to be black are relatable to a black audience in appearance alone. No other aspect of their personality, origin story, or overall behavior suggests that they have lived the life of a black man or woman in today's society. But why is that a problem, Star Tales? Surely it's better than nothing. Sadly, in this case, it's not. Characters that happen to be black in mainstream media have a tendency to be one-dimensional. They need to learn or grow over the course of a story and seemingly only exist to support the main characters. As a result, we define the character by what we see on the surface. And unfortunately, more often than not, the surface is either this, this, or this. The problem is made worse by the fact that the vast majority of mainstream black characters all fall into either of those three stereotypes. As a result, these stereotypes are automatically associated with all Africans. They become a defining characteristic, and therein lies a problem. Being black now becomes a marketable gimmick, a thing you choose to become by mirroring your dress code, behavior, and way of speaking to one of the above stereotypes. The story being told in Luke Cage accepts that being black is a state of being, not a combination of a dress code and personality traits. Luke Cage is not a hero who happens to be black. He is a black hero. And without getting into any details, much of this show explores what it means to be both in this day and age. Which leads us nicely into my third and final point. In our age of social media, it's easier than ever for people to document and share the horrific police shootings and general brutality against African Americans that has been going on since long before the Black Lives Matter hashtag even began. In light of this, Luke Cage, a black superhero whose signature trait is his unbreakable skin, paints a powerful picture and makes him immediately relevant. This show would have received standing ovations either way, but this added detail, in my opinion, skyrockets its political relevance as well as its message. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Star Tales talking to you about Luke Cage. Peace guys.